Within the first of Futilities, the second full-length album from Finnish black metal band Flail. This is an atmospheric black metal band and one that has always been a little bit avant-garde in the way that they present uh, uh, obscured, obscurant noise and unique production values in, in conveying a somewhat stylized version of atmospheric black metal, which is generally droning, gloom, ridden and not necessarily doom but verging on that that level of attack basically the, the only way to really convey what this band is all about is to just play a little bit of it and then sort of work around that and see if we can get to a, a point where you understand what this is <laughs> So I guess the way that I describe this band and their work, body of work is a machine tortured hum, a dismal moan, a endless droning style of atmospheric black metal that is developed with a, a little bit of a doom tone to it uh, beyond distant wanderings, uh, seven inch back in 2020. Uh, their debut full length album emphasized this. There's, they don't always have a point to every song that they put together. It's more of a vignette, a, a, a vibe. It's, it's not necessarily a groove even most of the time. Although if they do produce a riff, it is a basic black metal groove and rather not quite the depressive black metal side of things that you might expect. For this release, they've added a member from Celestial Grave and uh, I'm a big fan of that, that uh, musician's work. So this was sort of a natural thing to pick up and check out as I think he's added a little bit more of a finesse to this album, which presents some things that are a little bit more eventful, a little bit more active. The drums play a bigger part in the pacing, and it's uh, the way that it changes up throughout. There's a greater variety of moods on this record overall. So they're doing a bit more, and they're not just droning along with the same song after song. And that might affect the way that you, you see this record. But there is still that, uh, what I call a philosophem style listlessness to it that... Uh, carries through this record and it's it's sort of attitude it is still scuffed it is still obscured it is still very much in its lane and where it started from but i think this is a better version of it that they're putting a lot more thought and time into so if you're looking for something hypnotic a little bit un inadvisable and fairly lo-fi this is a great choice it, it is a moderately high recommendation for me it's not for everyone it is uh, certainly deep underground and dark music that is uh, people who like that kind of thing want it to stay where it is so uh check it out if this is your kind of thing read my review for more of my thoughts <laughs> 